These nations are going to hell. I see a world now going to hell. If, if, if we just suck it in, if we just drink it in, and we don't give it out, if we don't go out and reach the world, same thing going to happen that happened in Jerusalem. Pentecost came. They, they were comfortable. The Bible said they went from house to house eating and sharing. And the fellowship was wonderful. And God said they're just going to sit here and they're just going to soak in the blessings themselves and they'll die in the process. And so God sent persecution. And the Bible said they were scattered. And everywhere they went, they preached Christ, the Bible said. And God has ways of shaking us and stirring us. I want you to come to the altar today to give your life to service. You go. But you see, we can't just sit here. I see a world now going to hell. Is it true to die? I want to tell you something else. God's goal is that everybody go. Everybody. Young people, dads, mothers, husbands, married people with children. Everybody has to go to the mission field. God has ways. If your heart is open, He can send persecution. He can cause you to lose your job. Where you don't have anything else to do but go. Go! And God has a plan for your life. And God said, are you tired of just making money? Are you tired of the comfort? Are you just looking for security? Or would you like your life to count? Because I've got a whole world of dying people who need you. I see a world now going to hell. You see, you don't have to be an ordained minister. You don't have to be a preacher. You mean I can actually just pack up, sell everything, quit everything, and move out? Yes. You can go anywhere in the world. You can pack up and go tomorrow by faith. And there are some that say, I have no money. Well, what did Peter and John say to the cripple, the beggar? Silver and gold have I none. These men traveled all over the world without a purse. By faith. faith. He's not going to come and interrupt your lifestyle if you don't want him.
go. The Lord needs you. Get, just get a map you can lay out of the world. Just a simple map. And pray over it. Ask the Lord to give you a nation to place on your heart. Go! All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Even to the end of the world. If you do not answer the call of God that he's placed on your life, you can opt out for ease and security and prosperity and a good job and family life and all of that, but you're never going to have peace. You're going to be the most restless person around. It's time for some of you to think the unthinkable. God's expecting more.